the Trump Show's second act, facing major tests over the next month. This weekend, the former president in Nebraska campaigning for Charles Herbster, the candidate for governor accused of groping by eight women. Herbster denies those allegations. This just days after holding a rally in central Ohio. The greatest political movement in the history of our country. Key primaries that will test his grip on the Republican Party today. They have my complete and total endorsement. Trump also throwing his political weight behind a trio of high-profile candidates. I endorsed another person today, Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. David Perdue is a great leader. We have to put J.D. Vance in the U.S. Senate, so get your friends and get your family, get everyone you know. The best president of my lifetime. That's a big shift from 2016, when Vance opposed Trump. I'm a never-Trump guy. But since Trump endorsed him this month, a new poll showing a big boost for the controversial author of Hillbilly Elegy. But is it enough to sway enough Ohio voters by Tuesday? Still thinking about it? Yeah. But I'm not sold on J.D. Vance. The FBI illegally spied on Donald Trump. Trump's favored candidates in these races parroting his false 2020 election conspiracy. But Georgia's incumbent Republican governor, targeted by Trump, pushing back. Weak leaders blame everybody else for their own loss instead of themselves. And in Pennsylvania, Trump choosing celebrity Dr. Mehmet Oz, despite prominent Republicans like Ted Cruz backing a different longtime conservative. If Trump is not able to catapult his candidates to victory, it would suggest his influence has cooled and other potential 2024 candidates like Mike Pence and Ted Cruz are already on the campaign trail as well. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.